Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Whatever time it is for you, I'm Cyclone. It's time for my Let's Play Train Simulator Classic. I know I promised to play scenarios with you guys for the first time. Uh, unfortunately, sometimes things happen. Uh, my OBS crashed. And since I had the game open, I had no way to know. So I basically had a whole day's worth of work recording these videos and sharing these scenarios with you. Gone. Uh, which really affects my schedule for the next little while because I was planning to have more time to record scenarios from the next route I plan to visit. And now I'm going to have to spend another entire day basically redoing this work and possibly trying to fit in even more scenarios in the tight recording timetable I have. So I'm going to probably be a little afraid as I get to the end of these scenarios, especially this one, which uh, turned out to be an absolute monster to get working because I was trying to figure out why certain mechanics weren't working and I had to relearn how certain mechanics of this train worked even though it was my third time driving the, <laughs> driving the train. Uh, and of course, two of the scenarios that um, failed are the ones of the worst of the two trains, which does not make me very happy. But in any case, we are going to do thermal expansion today. I'm probably just going to go ahead and drive whatever speed I want to drive here. Don't expect me to just do what they want me to do. I don't care at this point. So I'm just going to probably just do whatever I want to do. You're going to see me being a little more cavalier than usual. But, well, I kind of did the supercell too, so we'll ignore that. But anyway, thermal expansion, record-breaking temperatures are ravaging the East Coast, and train dispatchers have issued slow orders to ensure the continued safety of rail operations. Bring Northeast Regional number 176 safely into Baltimore Penn Station, making intermediate stops at New Carrollton and BWI Airport. As I said, you're probably going to see me being a little cavalier. The guy's going to come over the air, and I'm going to say, I don't give a darn. You're, I'm doing what I want to. Let's see what I feel like doing. It's uh, basically now uh, 1 in the morning as I'm recording this, and I spent the entire day trying to do these. You can see how I'm feeling right now. See you inside. Good afternoon, Engineer. Today you'll be operating Northeast Regional number 176 from Washington to Baltimore. Due to the record-breaking temperatures, dispatchers have issued slow orders. Please ensure you don't exceed 80 miles per hour during any part of your journey. Open doors to finalize boarding. Okay, this uh, 80 miles per hour thing probably will not happen. I was at 0 0.2 miles per hour for a second. What just happened there? Interesting. Okay, so the doors have opened. We are, look we are boarding our train, I should say, not looking at it. We'll look at it in just a second. So we have three stops today, New Carrollton, BWI Airport, and uh, Baltimore, Penn, obviously. And now we'll look at our train before we depart. Let's do that. Northeast Regional number 176, ready to depart Washington. Proceed on signal indication. Roger. Let's get this puppy purring. So I'm going to try and take the opportunity that we're going a little bit slower to try and tell you a little bit more about the line as we're going down it today. It's a nice day to really show you around and look at the different features of the line. So I'm going to see if I can uh, take advantage of that opportunity. Curious if I can pull that off uh, very well in this particular video. This might be the best chance to do that. I did not do the train tour and I decided I'm not going to do the train tour of this train right now. The main things you need to know about the uh, train right now uh, are that we're going to have, I'll hide the HUD for a second once I get up to 15. Okay, we will uh, get up to 15 and then I will reset this to hide the HUD for a moment. And uh, yes, that should be good. That's not good enough. That's still not good enough. Okay, I'm going to have a hard time getting up to 15 today, apparently. Okay, quick hide so I can show you this. You see this area in front here? I'll go ahead and zoom down and show you this. The main thing you need to know is that throttle is shown by that blue bar on the left, and the speed you can go in the signal cab is also shown here. Let's reset the view. That's the second-hand view. And we're now going 14.1 miles per hour. So the main thing you need to see is that the signal is indicated in the front. It's not the same kind of signal you would see in the Acela, nor is it the correct type of signal, because we see the correct type of signal in front of our train. So not a standard cab signal inside this uh, cab, but it will still tell us what speed we're allowed to go and basically tell us if you have to come to a stop. So that will still happen. Those are the main things you need to see on the uh, front display, which is what you're going to see most of the time in this view. You're not going to see all the other controls here anyway, but I'll show them to you when we actually look at the Acela on a future route, possibly uh, New York, New Haven might have it, or it might be the Northeast Corridor that has it. I'm not sure. So we will take another look at this train in the future, and I will show you the cab tour at that time.
For right now, we are heading towards New Carrollton as scripted. And I'm going to eventually uh, pop... Actually, I'm going to go ahead and do it right now. Let's hop on top of the train for a second. Hello. Wee. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, start zooming along the track here. As I do that, I'm going to make sure my alerter doesn't wake me up. There we go. So speeding under the bridge here. Wee. I'm just going to show you a little track over here very, very quickly. This little track over here, this is the Metropolitan Subdivision. You can see the scenery basically comes to an end up here. So that's the Metropolitan Subdivision hanging off there. That is the end of the track over there. There's a huge coach yard right here. This is a huge coach yard. So we're going to kind of sit over here uh, on top of a station here. I don't actually know the name of the station. Let's actually go down to the station because I'm curious what it is now. Is it a station? No, it's not a station. I thought it was a station. It is apparently just a building. It is not a station. It is a building. Yep. It. it oh, interesting. Okay. Don't know what that is. But anyway... That's a huge coach yard, and we're going to be going by the rest of that coach yard right now. There's a track in there, so I'm going to assume that's just part of the coach yard. <laughs> okay, we're going to keep in mind that we're not allowed to go up to 80 or beyond 80 miles per hour today. We're probably going to do it a little bit, because I'm not going to really... If, if I get a downhill and I drop over 80 on the downhill, I'm going to let it go, because we're not going to be penalized for it, but... We are going to go ahead and try to um, maintain 80 otherwise. The reason I'm going to go ahead and maintain the 80 is not because I'm not going to be pe is because I'm afraid of being penalized, but because uh, I want to show you uh, the timings based on doing what the scenario tells you to do to some extent. curious that track going off to the left is the capital subdivision now the metropolitan line goes towards pittsburgh so does the capital subdivision the difference is that the capital subdivision splits into two at some point as well uh goes by a few different stations on the way to that and uh then the track for one of them curves back to circle of rocks or circle of something like that which actually go is actually joins the route to pittsburgh on the metropolitan so it's the same thing and then, uh, at the, from that point onwards, and then the other track actually goes alongside our track if we went past Baltimore. It even goes under the Baltimore Metro at one point, and a couple times it actually goes over us and under us. So uh, it flirts with us, basically, as we go. That's how that works. So I've got about a three, four mile stretch where we have no really interesting features along the line. It's just driving along the line. We're now in a 70 or 80 mile per hour segment here. So I am trying to maintain speed to uh, some extent here at 80 for the purpose of showing the uh, timings on the scenario. You can see my current scenario timing shows I'll be arriving at 12.14 and uh, very late to 12.15. That actually is a minute earlier than the scenario timing shows. I cropped, cropped to 81 by accident. So uh, yeah, the um, we don't get penalized for that. Don't worry about it. So I can cross to 81.1 and all of a sudden I'm at Baltimore Penn a script loads and says, You have broken the speed limit. You fail. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, like, if that happened, that would be pretty rude. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you broke the rules, so yeah, you would fail, but... It doesn't actually happen, so we're not going to worry about it. Especially if we're losing this much speed, I'm actually tempted to go ahead and speed a little bit. Just to confirm I'm not reading the uh, timing correctly, yes, it does say 12.16 up there. We have to be at BWI by 12.36, and then at uh, Baltimore Penn at 12.51. This is possible. Hence why I have a 1,000 on this scoring screen. And again, I tried to record that run for you already, but uh, yeah, things happen. ODF, OWS decides to crash, I'm not allowed to publish a video, and you don't get to hear me entertain you for a day. A little rude of AWS, or OWS if you ask me. It's 
So we're now within three miles of New Carrollton. Watch for the um, for the Metro Orange Line to uh, join us from the left. It's going to come along with the main line that uh, we split from to go to Washington Union Station on this track. So both tracks are going to come along here. Quick look overhead here. You can see the tracks right there coming along. You can actually see the one coming to join us right there. Metro line is further to the right. We have to go into suppression right now. So we're being limited to 45 miles per hour up ahead. A little tip about suppression I had to pick up during the uh, one of those failed recordings, by the way. Uh, you have to keep your brake, your uh, throttle in a negative number. It can be negative one, negative two, whatever it is. But you have to keep it in negative to pull the throttle out of forward. Otherwise, into forward again. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to bring that throttle up, and you're going to find that you are locked in a, a neutral position. Why does that keep coming up? So now that we are limited to 45, that should help us with our stop, needless to say. I'm not sure why we're limited to 45 right now. There's no. We can go 125 again. Are you kidding me? Am I following a train? What's going on here? Am I following a train? No, what's going on? I'm a little puzzled why I had to lower to 45 there. I don't know. Well, we're coming to a stop now. We're too close to the station to gain any more speed. So, um, we should be on time. We got a whole minute. It's just annoying. Very annoying. So I'm going to use the uh, main throttle brake to do a nice uh, minute application of brakes here. Get myself down to 30. Close enough. Still going down. That'll do. I'm on an uphill, so it's actually going to keep taking me down anyway. Okay, I'll take that. That's fine. Let's just make sure we stop on time at 12.16. That's the main objective for right now. All right, keep that brake coming down. And now we're going to use a regular brake. Full brake is being applied. We're going to be good enough to be on time here. This will do the job. So arrival at New, new or excuse me, arrival at New Carrollton track number two. Look at that train going by. Regional 176, okay to go. Roger. Why am I doing radio? It's not a radio. <laughs> Leaving New Carrollton Track 1, let's just review the arrival time for BWI Airport at 1236. You can see that it is 6 miles after Grove Track 2, which is uh, 14 miles away. So 20 miles to BWI Airport. Are we going to be able to get there in a reasonable amount of time? Your guess is as good as mine, ladies and gentlemen.
CETC 1 train dispatcher to Northeast Regional 176, over. This is 176, over. We received reports of a Suns kink on number one track at Winnens, just south of the Hailthorpe platform. You're getting switched to number three track at Grove. Make your station stop at BWI, and then we'll switch you to back to track number two at Fulton. Number two track at Fulton, over. Roger, CETC1, over and out. Attention passengers, you'll be departing on the left side of the train today. Thank you for riding with Amtrak. I don't do it, doctors, I do it myself. Anyway, let's uh, take a quick peek outside the train over here at this uh, track for the Metro over here, which appears, yeah, there it is. This is the Metro Yard. The tra track comes from New Carrollton Metro Station over here. Uh, with, well, I wanted to show you on the map. I'm still going to try to show you on the map, so let's try that again. It comes down the track over here, a lot closer to the loop than it was before. It comes around the loop and uh, re-enters, and that's where all the tracks end. And then the drivers basically have their cars here. Uh, I saw a nice red one here. Ooh, yeah, red, red. Love it. That's what the new Carrollton track looks like. So our train is slowly gaining speed towards the 80 miles per hour that we are allowed to travel. And I'm tempted to give it just a wee bit more. I don't know if I'm going to actually need to give it a wee bit more to make my timing here. The good news is we don't fail the scenario for doing that. So if you want to go 90, go for it. just a little more to try to get up to speed quicker. Now this is a really nice long stretch we have here, I believe, without having to do anything, because we got 12... 12 more miles to go until we go to Grove Track 2, so I might actually go ahead and increase a little more speed here. I'm tempted to. Just for a little stretch here. This, I believe, is Seabrook. Now I'm going to go ahead and increase just a wee bit here. I want to get a little extra time on this. The boss will kill me later. I will deal with it. I will revive. I have infinite lives. I have used the game genie code. <laughs> so now I'm going to bring it back down. I had my fun. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, maintain speed limit. 80 miles per hour. I got a few extra seconds just in case I need them. So there you go. Especially because we're going to be coming upon a heavy uphill at some point on this journey. Good excuse to go 83 for a while. Heavy uphill has arrived, so let's go ahead and put some heavy speed throttle or heavy throttle on. That will combat this heavy uphill. I shall maintain my speed. Excellent. That'll do. We're smoothing out now. That'll do. That'll do splendidly. Thank you very much. How oh, my pastor doing back there? Oh, they're centered. That's fine. They're enjoying the ride.
That's just too bad that we don't have that uh, little pasture comfort bubble somewhere on this minimized head. It'd be actually be kind of cool to see that uh, if the head was slightly extended to the left and right, they could put that little pasture bubble on the maybe on the far left side. This is that you can always keep an eye on how your passengers are doing. Ooh, I'm eating 80 nicely right now. This is good. Now that I already passed the uh, section I wanted to show you here, I don't know. I'm going to check quickly on the map. Oh, yeah, I wanted to show you the uh, this area. This is the Post Valley subdivision over here. So let's uh, make sure I don't fail. I'm going to pop out the cab, let the train go through me for a moment. We're going to head back. Those tracks I wanted to show you are the Post Valley subdivision. They head off over here, and the only feature of that area is it goes towards a power plant. That's the only thing I could find as a feature. Nice little neighborhood in the area here, too. Uh, and, uh, yeah, that's really all there is to report here. So we're not going to fuss around here. Ooh, I went over 80 again. I will take that. It is acceptable. So we're going to get a left turn now. Let's see how the pastures like that. Hmm. Pastors so far are not complaining about that left turn. That's good. Bring that back down under E.V., you rascally weasel. I mean, the good news is we don't actually have a script monitoring our speed the entire journey, and then we get to Baltimore, it goes, You lose! Good day, sir! I mean, can you imagine how much salt there would be if you had that happen? I will then go find some chocolate by anyone other than Willy Wonka, and I would enjoy it. Hershey's for everyone. Or Cadbury. Or Lint. Now, before I get in trouble for promoting uh, chocolate brands and not getting paid for it, I'm going to return back to our journey. We are... Still traveling towards Grove Track 2, we are six and a half, well, five and a half miles. The six and the five are so hard to read in that small print. Five and a half miles away from Grove. That means we're about 11 and a half miles away from uh, BWI Airport. Which we have to be at, I think, in 11 minutes. Is that right? That is right. Oh my. Why am I losing this much speed? Let's get back up to speed, guys. I shouldn't be losing seven miles off my speed. I'm going to have to get trimmed down the when I get that next uh, transfer junction as well, so I might need to try to take advantage of a few more seconds on another 80 push. Can we get up there? Yeah, we're going to take a push. Let's do it. It's not going to be for long. That's a green signal, so we're good for right now. This will make up the time that I just lost on that uh, decrease. I'm just letting it drop naturally at this time. The next signal I think is going to get us to come down. I'm not 100% sure. We'll find out in a moment. Oh, now we're under 80 again. Let's go back up. Pastors, how are you doing? Oh, you're all good. Okay. Why are we losing speed? Come on, guys. Not proper. Let's go. I'm holding. Okay. I bet you this next signal is going to have me come down early. 
I need to get my speed up quick. There's another junction heading off. That's just to the end of a track, though. Might be a siding there. I'm not 100% sure. I don't have a name for it anyway, so I can't tell you about it. So we got this zoomed forward position taking a look at the signal, which is telling us we're going to go into suppression right now. Excellent. So we have to come down to 45 way too early now. This is what you call being overprepared, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I wanted to see. How pastures? Oh, they didn't like that very much. They did not like that very much at all. Let's go ahead and get them centered again here. There we go. That'll do. That'll do nicely. Okay. Well, ah, we can't go over that speed. That's the speed we can't exceed. Even though we're not even in the 45, anywhere close to it yet, we're not allowed to exceed that because the train will blare at us and tell us, I'm putting you to a stop. I mean, this is a case where the driver and the train can have an argument. The train's always going to win because all it has to do is pull its own emergency stop. Can't argue the train that plays God, can you? Next thing you know, it's going to control weather. Okay, so we're having, I believe, a downhill coming into this new speed limit, which is extremely annoying. So I'm going to actually uh, try to minimize the effect of that by putting a Maybe taking a mile off right now. Let's see if that can work. It's only a very small stretch that runs on the 45 speed limit, but it's the eternity that we actually have to travel at that speed. Not cool. Not cool, boys. I can say that. Not cool. We have to be at... Uh, we're going to be at Grove shortly. That's not where we have to be. It's where we're going to be shortly. Don't speed. Don't speed, train. Please don't. Don't do this. Don't do this. Okay, we're doing okay here. We're on the junction. Let's get off this junction as quick as we can and get back up to speed. That would be ideal at this stage. I have to hold off until I know the speed limit goes back up because uh, the train may wait for another signal. We're at 125 again. Let's go. Of course, we're not going to be able to drive 125. That's a different discussion entirely. So now we have a little less than six miles to get to BWI Airport Track 3. This is going to be tight. The good news is I can cheat and go up to 80 if I need to. Past 80. In fact, we are showing that we're going to be late right now, so I might actually have to do that. I need more throttle. Oh, we're on uphill. No wonder we're having trouble. Okay, yeah, I do need more throttle.
road pick up a downhill, so I'm going to hold the throttle here for now instead of increasing. We're still losing time. See, I'm going to take the opportunity to, um, you know, break the rules again. <laughs> I have broken the rules. <laughs> that'll do. No, I said that'll do. Are we gaining time? Is it working? We should be gaining time here. Come on. We're not. Okay, fun. We lost time. We're losing time on this. Seriously? Okay, this is not going to be a good stop, guys. Oh, why am I... I'm under 80 now. Okay, math time. We have two minutes to make our stop. We have two and a half miles to go. Good thing we have to the end of the minute, guys. That's the only thing I can say here. We have to the end of the minute. I didn't want to go 82 this time. the stop that we have up ahead. We need to make this stop. I was going to say, if suppression came up, I'd be throwing a keyboard right now. We're now at roughly a mile away from our stop. We are exactly a minute away from our stop. So this might be doable in time. We'll find out. Need to bring that speed down just a wee bit. It's not coming down much at all, is it? I don't like using the uh, brake outside the station, but it looks like I'm going to have to do it. It's not coming down much at all today. Okay, we need to get this train stopped. Stat. I'm gonna crawl forward a wee bit, but I don't have a lot of space to do that. I have to get this train stopped now. So here we go. Go, thank you. Brakes, brakes please. Get this thing stopped. All right, brakes knees off now, and we're going to say doors are open at BWI Airport track number three. Regional 176, okay to go. Roger. We didn't lose anything there. We had the whole minute. So all is well. We are going to proceed to Fulton Track 2 as our next waypoint. That is in about 8 miles from now, leaving the WI Airport. We are on our way to Baltimore Penn, which, as you can see on our HUD, or information, is 10 miles from now. So 2 miles after Fulton. Shuttled that throttle up just a bit more so we can try and get up to speed quicker. 
I'm trying to decide if I want to take advantage of more ED time here because 1246 is our current ETA at Fulton 2. Uh, our due time is 1251. We're going to be limited to 30 in that section, so we have to keep that in mind as well. We have to make sure we maintain no later than that 1246. There's a 90 coming up here. That'll help us a wee bit right now, believe it or not. not moved the throttle for a minute, so there you go, I got that alert. Pop a little more throttle on there. Go ahead and crank that throttle a bit now. It is spooky that as I did that, the light above my head flickered. That is spooky. I know they are in no way connected, but that was spooky for a second. So yeah, I am exceeding 80 a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and do it again. Just to see how it affects my uh, ETA. I want that ETA to drop a little bit. So I'm trying to uh, do just a wee bit over 80 to see if that drops it. It is not. I think I'm actually getting slower. Okay. Yeah, this is one of those scenarios, ladies and gentlemen, where the uh, ETA is never going to agree with you. I mean, frankly, the percentage um, for the stop might need to be... Oh, look at that ad. Nothing but oranges. Yeah, orange. Oranges. This might be one of those scenarios where the percentage could have probably been dropped just a little bit to allow the uh, additional time. Here's Hailthorpe, by the way. Additional time for um, being on time. <laughs> five miles to Fulton. We're going to get slowed down at some point on this part of the journey. So that five minutes is probably going to be entirely used. We're going to drop to a 90 up ahead, or I should say we're going to maintain 80 up ahead. <laughs> the high speed section of the track is coming to an eventual end here, as we did just see Hill for back there. So that means we're going to have a, a drop to uh, 70 and 55 at some point. A 
Oh, don't do this. There's that 55 I spoke of. We're probably going to have a suppression down to 45 at some point because of this. How the pastor's doing? Oh, they're happy. Take a quick look at the pasture cab. Ooh, I can't see much. Ugh, can't see much at all. Okay, we're going to have to go down to 55 on our own. This is not going to give us a warning here. For the 45, we might get a warning, but... Might be a little too late by the time we get that. Brakes. We'll be down to the 55 in time. The 45 is debatable. I can want to get down to 45 by that signal because if I don't do that, I'm going to probably get put in suppression. I'd rather not do that. We have a 30 coming up as well, which also would be a good reason for us to get down to 45 now. The suppression might actually be for the 30. Hey, yellow markers. That might have been a stop at West Baltimore, actually, now that I think about it. That might be where the train stops at West Baltimore. Because we're coming upon the St. John, or not, sorry, the um, Gilmore Street Tunnel is the first long one there. There's no suppression in this area. I'm actually... Uh, pleased by that. I don't like suppression. <laughs> do not suppress me. I will do what I want. When I want. Get that last mile down, please. Thank you. We're going to have some downhill going in the tunnel, so I will need to take off a little bit more speed here. But for right now, we are limited to our, to our 30, and that is what we're now doing. Down. Down, boy. This is a tunnel underneath some kind of a road here. Now that we've done the uh, Grove connector, we are two miles away from Baltimore Penn. We're going to be late. This is the Gilmore Street Tunnel. nicely and my ETA is not moving we're gonna have a 1.3% down grading coming up right now we're at a 0 0.8 so this is gonna get really steep in the Wilson Street tunnel which is the next tunnel That's normal or not, but I think you should be doing that when you enter a tunnel anyway. This is going to be a massive downhill gradient for us. I don't really want to be on minus 13. That's a bad number. Minus 10 is good for now, so we can gain a little speed. Oh, we've gained time on our ETA. I'm happy about that. That's good. Our situation hath improved greatly. And now down to a minus 14. The 
can see our stop coming up. We got uh, three minutes to make our stop. I think we'll be okay today. We probably would have been okay even without the little extra burst of speed I gave it there, but uh, I like to average things out. When you fall out of the speed limit a wee bit somewhere, it lets you average it out. Now I haven't just, I'm trying to decide if I'm going to go ahead and do the other two scenarios for Baltimore Pen now, as well as the uh, rail fans, or whether I want to go do another quickie route right now. Uh, because I've got a batch of five scenarios for another routing question that I have in mind. I'm thinking of playing that route now. I haven't decided how I'm going to do this from a publishing perspective yet. But um, I kind of don't want to overdo all of my America stuff at once. At the same time, I want to get the route done and not have to worry about uh, coming back and doing those two scenarios that I thought I already had recorded later. So I'm... Because if I leave them in that state without come, redoing them now, I might forget that I, have de that I haven't aired them yet. So I might have to do them all right now. I'll figure that out. There's my reminder about lunch. A funny reminder at only about 2.30 in the morning. So I'm letting the speed drop to 25 because I'm marked as being early right now. This is fantastic for me. In fact, the speed is just dropping on its own. The brakes should do the good, should do the good, should do the job very nicely by the time I need to stop here. So I'm gonna cruise to about, until our train is about halfway in the platform, then I'll put on a small brake to start bringing it down. We got eight coaches to get in. So I'm gonna consider the fourth coach to be halfway. And here it is. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> that scared me. We're going to stop before the buffer on this other track here. Well ahead of the buffer. We are fully in. Let's open the doors. And we've arrived early at Baltimore Penn. Let's, open, let's look at the train as we finish. Look what I found a couple tracks over, guys. Nice. We got got both trains right here just being shown off at once. I love this. I now wish I pulled up just a wee bit more because I had the time. It would have been a better look at both trains. But, oh, well, what can you do? Uh, so nice to see the uh, other train on display here, the Acela, obviously. Where's that? The, that's the MP36. MP36. And I hear a car going overhead on the street overhead. So... Once our uh, passenger pickup is completed, we will be on our way to the uh, to the uh, break room, I guess. I don't know. Wherever we go when we're a train conductor and we need to uh, take a break. You made a great time despite the slow order and diverging movements. Excellent job. So we're going to not really gain any points here because I already got the 1,000 points. Let's take a look at the scoring screen anyway, shall we? So yeah, zero XP gain because I already got my 1,000 points. Who cares? Uh, not a bug. That's normal. I already got the score. So uh, yeah, there's our 1,000 points. That's how you do this. You can, like I said, you can cheat a little bit and get a few uh, kilometers off 85 if you want to, but don't make a habit of going up to 125 in this scenario because I don't know if the heat affects you or not. But the one thing that definitely would affect you is if you're going way faster than you're told to go, uh, you could come upon some red signals. You're going to be taking some time getting from zero back up to where you want to be. So uh, definitely pay attention to those speed signs. If you want, to, if you need to catch up, you need to milk the speed a little bit, you can do it as long as there's no speeding penalties. But other than that, do not push it. Do not push it. Of course, there could be a script telling you to fail as well. But if that happens, then deal with that when it comes. In any case... Uh, stay tuned for the next scenario in this set. I'm still debating whether it's going to be this route next or the other route, but I'm probably going to just stick with this route to get it done because I do want to uh, show off a couple other routes anyway. And who knows, there could be a new route for BTG at some point we need to show off as well. And if that happens, I might show that off. We'll see. But in any case, have a wonderful day, evening, night, whatever you're part of the world. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, join the Discord, all that usual stuff. I'll see you next time for more Let's Play Train Simulator Classic. I am Cyclone. Have yourself a wonderful whatever it is for you. Bye-bye.